During a visit to Greece, the United Nations refugee chief paid tribute to the enormous humanitarian response mounted by local authorities and civil society in the face of the thousands of refugees and migrants that are arriving in the country. At the same time, Antonio Guterres lamented the continued lack of a large-scale and effective European response to the ongoing crisis. It is absolutely essential that there is massive support by the European Union to Greece in order to create the conditions inside the Greek territory to allow for adequate reception uh, for the refugees that are coming and uh, the registration and screening processes that uh, are essential to allow for uh, uh, relocation of the refugees into other European countries and also for the return uh, of those found not in need of protection. Greece has been the main European Union entry point for nearly 450,000 refugees and migrants so far this year. The island of Lesvos in particular has been the landing spot for tens of thousands of people taking smuggling boats from the nearby Turkish coast. Mr. Guterres warned that without a European-wide approach and an effective strategy in dealing with the influx, criminal networks would continue to thrive. The Security Council, along with top UN leaders and members of civil society, marked the 15th anniversary of Resolution 1325, a landmark text that for the first time recognized the key contributions of women in conflict and post-conflict situations. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, who commissioned a global study to assess progress in this area, urged the Council to make women, peace and security a priority. At a time when armed extremist groups placed subordination of women at the top of the agenda, we must place women's leadership and protection of women's rights at the top of ours. Executive Director of UN Women Fumzile Mlambonkuka noted that the global study found that women were still underrepresented at peace negotiations. Fifteen years on, it finds that political will financing, accountability, attitudinal and institutional barriers, as well as lack of expertise and awareness continue to be an obstacle. Women's participation is still symbolic or low at peace tables. During the debate, the Council adopted a new resolution, 2242, which urges member states to assess strategies and resources in carrying out the Women, Peace and Security Agenda, including ensuring increased representation of women at all levels of decision making. In his new role as the United Nations Global Advocate for the Elimination of Mines and Explosive Hazards, renowned actor Daniel Craig visited Cyprus, where he underscored the importance of the UN's demining efforts. It's been an extraordinary experience because I've been able to sort of uh, get close to uh, the people working on the ground in minefields, the deminers. Alongside the UN peacekeeping force in Cyprus, Mr. Craig toured an active minefield, which was recently identified by the UN Mine Action Service, UNMAS. I was given the chance to blow up a couple of tank, anti-tank mines, which I'm used to being near explosions, I suppose, but nothing like this. Uh, and you really understand when you, when, you, when you hear these things go off. Not just the, the, the amount of damage that they can potentially do, but the, the sort of the terror that it strikes into, in people that, 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 that they're anywhere near them um, when they're just sitting there silently sort of waiting for a target. It is estimated today that thousands of landmines still remain in Cyprus, with large areas possibly still contaminated by mines and unexploded ordnance. Over the last decade, UND miners have removed more than 27,000 landmines from the buffer zone, the area that separates the Turkish Cypriot northern region and the Greek Cypriot southern region of the island.